What's up friends, it's Becky, and today we are going to be doing a standing abs workout. If you wanna up the spice and you have a hand weight, go ahead and use that. Otherwise, you don't need anything except for yourself and your mat. Let's get started. on our mat, grab your hand weight and just reach it up to the sky here, all right? What we're gonna do is a little curl. So I want you to curl your spine, bring your knee to your elbow, and then extend all the way back. And you can take a step back with your foot. So feel those abs stretch, and then I want you to curl and feel them crunch. So it's a little bit of a balance challenge, but you guys got this. So you're gonna curl, and you're gonna step back. And a little curl, and a little step back. Now it seems easy at first, but trust me, you are definitely gonna feel your core tomorrow. You're gonna curl and step back. And a little curl and step back. Good, curling, stepping back. So this is like a standing crunch. Good, curl, step back. I love the back side because it also works your posture. So I'm doing all that flexion after a long day at your desk. So curl, step back. Curl, step back. Let's do five. Watch that balance. Four, and three, and two, and one. And now you're gonna pass it across to the other side. So left arm up in the air. You're gonna curl and take a step back. All right, we'll do the first couple slow. Curl and step back. So think of rounding out your spine and then extending. Round and extend. So think like cat cow spine. Extend, round, extend. If you're using a hand weight, it's a little bit of bonus shoulder work. Round, extend, round, extend. This workout is great if you're short on time. So you just wanna get a little bit pumped up, get a little bit of cardio, a little bit of balance. Do it all in one little workout then this is the workout for you. We're gonna round, extend. Two more times, round, extend. One more time, round, and extend. Now I want you to come back to the center. Take that weight back out to your first hand that you use. So I actually use my left, I said left twice. Take that arm open to the side, and you're gonna kick your leg. And kick your leg, good. So you're doing a little side bend here, good. Kicking that leg. A little side bend at the waist, side bend at the waist. Now the magic here is in the hold. So really see if you can hold at the top. Little holds, all right? Because a lot of us will tend to swing. It's not kickboxing, it's Pilates. So nice little isometric hold. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Get that little side crunch. Good, we'll do five. Four, standing tall, three, really feel those obliques, two, and last one. Woo. You're gonna pass it across to the other side. So right arm reaches straight out, shoulder away from the ear, connected to the core, kick that leg, hold, and back down. Kick, hold, and back down. Good, kick, and down, and down. Good work, and down. So again, we want to avoid using momentum. You wanna hold, and down. Feel that little crunch at the side waist. Very nice. Good, keep that arm strong. And good. Let's do five, four, three. Little hold, two, last one. Okay, now we're gonna work in twisting. So you're not gonna actually take that weight, hold it out in front of you, turn out your toes, come down into a bit of a plie. So you might have to go a little wider. Come down nice and low and just twist, 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 twist. So really think tall spine, using your waist to do that twisting. Go, twist, 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 twist. Now we're gonna do a twist to center, pulse, pulse, twist, center, pulse, pulse. Twist, center, pulse, pulse. Twist, center, pulse, pulse. Five, four, keep those abs strong. 
three, two, that back is against a wall. Last one. Now stand up, keep those ballerina arms. You're gonna shift your weight to your first foot. You're gonna lift that leg up and twist. Down and bringing out your spine. Down and down and so think about bringing your rib across to your opposite hip. These are your standing bicycle crunches. All right, we'll do five, four, three, two, last one. Back to center, shift your weight, other side. Twist and relax, twist and relax. Hold that knee, twist and relax. Twist and relax. We'll do five and four and three. You got two and you got one. Now I want you to drop that ball. Give your shoulders a nice little roll here. You're gonna reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, just fold forward. Let those arms be heavy and you're gonna start to roll up your spine, bone by bone by bone. And again, reach those arms up. Exhale, fold forward, roll your spine up, bone by bone by bone. Here's your last one, reach those arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Arms are heavy, roll up, bone by bone by bone. Ah. Give yourself a nice little twist through that spine and a round of applause. You just made it through a very quick standing abs class. It'll be a great class to add on to the end of your practice to really get those abs working. If you like this video, subscribe, like, and share, and please let me know what you wanna see next time. Bye.